ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the man that admits that he doesn't know everything there is to know about gardening, but enough to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Morning Gardener. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. This is so therapeutic, working in the garden. Uh, that net is the right size. Only put one shovel full in it at a time because if you put two or three in there, it's gonna jam it up and, and you'll just be wasting time. Um, get one long handled shovel, if you do it this way, one long hand shovel, um, and a box here for trash. Cause you're gonna run into some stuff. Uh, uh, depending on where you collected the, the leaves and the uh, grass clippings from. A little piece of paper here, a little piece of plastic there, tiny bits, but that, that's how that works. Now, this is the end result. This is, this is incredible. This is the stuff I'm talking about. It has a couple pieces of grass in it, but you think I'm worried about that? This is the best plant food on earth. That's the best. And I have a half of a 32 gallon container more here if I want to do it some over here if I want to do it some over here if I want to do it but today this will be enough it's some work not real bad and I think it's kind of soothing because you're just sitting there just 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 sifting just sifting look at that that is perfect that is perfect I think I'm gonna use some of this today this is the morning gardener talking about compost. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is yours truly, the Morning Gardener. This right here is my greenhouse setup. I'm gonna walk through it real quick, I'm gonna show you how I save money, and I'm gonna try to tell you how, well, some ways you can save money. Um, this greenhouse is a shelving unit that my buddy brought by about two, three years ago. I was gonna throw it away. I said, wait a minute, let me look at this again. So I thought, in my mind, I saw how it could be set up. So anyway, I built a light. It's a long five foot light that goes across the bottom. <coughs> the most expensive thing on this thing is, is that light. And the light could be adjusted. I should have wiped the dust off, at least while I put it on camera. Um, but um, I put the chains on there. See the chain on that end and the chain on that end. These could, these, uh, this light could be adjusted closer or further away. It also has those energy efficient bulbs in them, which um, they help save energy. They're, this is a 400 watt unit and you know 23 23 23 you do the math that's the bulbs I put in it and uh, <coughs> excuse me and then at the pans that you see underneath they have the lids for them I have the lids for both but one has the lid on it because those uh, seed, seeds are still not come up yet so I'm keeping the moisture and keeping the heat I got a heat pad under it the one down here on the bottom there's no heat pad on it because they pretty much came up. They're pretty much doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Let me get myself together here. Now, you pull them out. Uh, the seeds are doing okay. Uh, they're a little lanky, so that's why I took the, um, the heat pad from underneath. Sometimes plants will tend to get very lanky if you leave the, um, the heat on after they, once they come up. I got my Walla Walla onions here. I also have another variety. I don't know that I don't remember the name of it right now, but um, uh, the onions are doing pretty good. Uh, this is the other item here, I forgot what that is, but anyway, all this is doing good. I, oh, it says Dino Kale, Dino Kale. Um, but they're they're doing really good, and so you know I was able to get quite a bit growing here, and I, I didn't spend anything on this. I didn't spend anything on this. These two containers I bought two years ago. I think it was like five dollars a piece. Um, and then I got the two heating pads. Uh, I put the money in them because I, I needed the heating pads. Uh, these right here, up here on the heating pads, those are uh, some seedlings getting ready to start. Those are um, uh, those are uh, what's that? You, 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 they, they come up out of the ground. You put them in there. It takes two or three years. Uh, I'll get the name of that. Let me see what that is. Asparagus. Asparagus, that's what these are. These are asparagus. So I'm happy about that. And then I got my compost up there in the bag that helps me out immensely. And, and I got my little water bottles over there. And all, you know, that was free, mostly free. I got my little tape to mark everything because I learned it's important now to mark that stuff because 
after a couple days, you don't even remember what you planted. That's okra right there. That's okra. And every last one I'm gonna label like that it has different labels uh, indicating what in fact is in it. Um, and this one here, like I said, it's on folks. Uh, so I'm gonna fill my entire garden up uh, this year right here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna fill everything up. So it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be absolutely great. Um, the plants and, and, and me are gonna get along just fine. So I hope that some of these ideas help each and every one of you that's on there because and if you have any questions please feel free to call somebody else no 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 you can actually contact me so just anyway um just go ahead and do what you got to do to lower that grocery bill and this will work for me because this is just just a beautiful deal got my light there got my long counter up there i can work on my counter if i need to do anything i got oh and that magic right there that's that um that's that compost that's magic I call it magic because that stuff is crazy the way it works um, so here we go let's have a good growing year this this year folks and remember to post the pictures up uh, if, if you have time post them up let people see what you're doing so they can learn from it as well um, this is important that we do that because I mean I'm learning there's a whole bunch of people on on uh, I might call myself the morning gardener show but there are people out there that know things I know some things you know some things and you put all that together we could all become master gardeners and be out here uh, if you're not already a master gardener we could all be master gardeners and be out here doing the daggone thing eating well eating like kings and queens right from my own yards right from my own buckets right from my own grow bags this is how you do it folks the people are taking back some of the control thank you this is the morning garden Okra, more okra, because I said I'm going to do okra this year, and there's more in there coming up. That's okra. Tomatoes, lanky tomatoes. And this is another tomato here with lots of them in there, lanky. So we're trying to slow down the temperature so these plants can kind of, you know, not grow as lanky as they are right now. These here got the message, so they some of these came up some of them didn't uh, this is the uh, quality control here that I'm doing and uh, there it is and then you got this one here that's uh, doing okay these are let's see what these are beef boys these are beef tomatoes uh-huh planted on the 12th so here's the deal here's the deal these pots are made out of newspaper. Isn't that a trip? And I could set the whole thing in the ground when I finish. But, I th you know, I'm going to break the plants apart. Put them in the ground. But it's good to have that option. If you grew one plant in each, any one of these, one single plant, you can stick the whole thing down the ground. <coughs> I'm not paying. And I quote for plant uh, pots. Those pea pots used to be affordable, and then they got crazy. Now, I do okay financially, but I'm not I'm not throwing money away. It's Dino Kale here, planted on the... When was it planted? Oh. Oh, okay. That's, 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 that's uh, a long time ago. Um, but pretty soon I can put them outside. And, because uh, it's starting to warm up out there today. Thank goodness. Yes. And look at that plant there. That's going to be crazy. Putting all this in there. And I'm looking at the store. People up there uh, uh, at Walmart. I went by there. I went by Lowe's. I went by Home Depot. And they're looking at the prices of the, the plants. And it's going to be that mad rush once um, um, once the weather starts to really break. Everybody's running, getting I want to see your garden be a success. And what's in this trash can, and what's in this trash can is, is, a, is, a, is a big 100 pounds of nothing but compost and it's the best quality compost it has everything in it I got tree branches and I got uh, uh, I got grass I got uh, not that kind of grass I got grass uh, clippings I have uh, weeds in here I have uh, after well of course I let it uh, I got it before it went to seed and then I got in here I got uh, I got everything in here I got uh, weeds, I got uh, grass clippings, I got uh, uh, um, 
old compost in here mixed with the new stuff. I got, I mean, this stuff is this stuff is great. And and you put it on plants, they automatically start growing. 